got the detector. And, hey. just, and just that bucket, Sean. So, thanks for that. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I've got near the fireplace, I got to 80. Seems like a small target in here. Oh, it is, it's a small silver. Small silver! A small silver! Oh, I can't see the date. Oh, don't lose it. I've actually had this feeling I wanted to get under the floor all week knowing I was coming here, so... Robert Smith Saddler. It's from a saddle. Yep. Cool, Sean. And you got a little silver, eh? Yeah, it's in the bucket on the other side. Awesome, man. Something there. I might come to that one, I can't get the other one. <laughs> I'll, I'll go in and open. Oh, thanks, thanks, Dad. Alright, here we go. Down into the floor, there was a fireplace here. This is one unit. You can see there, and then there's the other unit, and that's where I was in that floor. And look at the fireplace, beautiful. So, the nice uh, work under the actual. The detail to that is beautiful. Uh, Sean was in here and found the saddle thing. There's going to be a bathroom. And I've got back across. We're trying to get into here before Dave has to go. So down I go. Near. Oh, look at that! Oh, kangaroo penny. <laughs> it's nineteen forty-two. You see that? <laughs> Live on camera too. Awesome. <laughs> the light went out, John. Okay. Right, I'm in the second hallway, making my way to the back. Right, right here, so no. Just found a like a little rat nest here. You can see. Just come for the from the other and I thought I'll have a look. I thought, gee, that's too tight. And look just there. I can even see this stupid thing. Look there. What's that? Looks like a penny or a half penny. Half penny it is. Is it a comb? It looks a bit thick for a comb. Uh, it's a Georgia 6 kangaroo half. Can't see it. Uh, 1948. Woohoo! Right at the hole now. We found some marbles here. Some big blocks. Right, I'm not too sure whether we're going to fit in there. I 
I think it's more about getting out, isn't it? If you cut that, we can get in. Oh, isn't that? Yeah, that is. Look. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, is it? Is it? No. I don't know. I don't think that would get in. No. <laughs> no. That is not happening. Then a penny. And it's over that way. It's right there, if you can see, Sean. It's right there. There we go, I've got a good zoom up on that. Can you see it? Now, I've seen that. That's a half, actually. There, where are you? There. Oh, so have a look at that one. Is that a half, and... Oh, don't tell me that was it. Now, it felt... Ooh, it feels like there's more. Where's my digger? Well, it's right behind you. I saw it at the edge of it. What? I'm sure I did. Yeah, here. Uh, not forward. Yeah. It's a small coin. Oh, it's a bit of metal. No, there's, I saw, I'm sure I saw it at the edge of a small coin. Well, there's all little bits here. Oh, there's a safety a hairpin thing. There's a lot going on here. Oh look. Yeah, that must have been it. Penny. I don't know what that's George the Six. It's a kangaroo. Um okay. It's okay, alright, I'm going in. What's that in here? Oh, it's an old uh, button. Uh, oh, it's Celsius. It's in very good condition. Dave, I don't know if I got it on film, but Dave pulled out all the coins he found. And amongst them, I found a 1920. No, that's a roo. Is it? No. So, one of them we found was actually a 1925. Oh, you know what? It's a 35. Ah, oh, here I was building it up. It is. It's a 35. I thought it was a 25. Well, I just here and uh, over there and I found the end of an old whistle. I've found one of these before complete. This one's been crushed and it's come apart and they've had earth moving equipment in here. So I reckon that's been the end of that. That could have been complete. Got this little shield looking item. Seems to have a, it could be a swan on the front. It kind of looks a bit like a swan, but sort of. Oh, Shawnee's earring he just found. It's a glass bead earring. I right, just got something interesting. It has glass in the top. It has these little bits there, so I don't know. Seems to be magnified. Yes, yeah. And slim pickings, isn't it, Sean? Now, oh, yeah. Sean's down there grabbing bits and pieces, and I've come across the top here. You've got a 70 to 73, and I've just got this. I'm going to guess. Oh, it is a. It's a com. <laughs> it's a com, Betty. I think we'll have to screed that again, Sean. We might have to, won't <laughs> Oh, gosh. Sean is doing some screeding there. And uh, I've done this across here. And I got this. I don't know if it's something, but that's pretty good. 74, 75. Come on. 
Oh, I thought that was a coin. It's one of those lead things with two holes in it. Yeah. Nails, 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 and more nails in the leather. And there's absolute layers of leather there. So that was under the front room floor. This was just from another room. There's just nails everywhere. And the heel tap is, and the heel tap is like a horseshoe. Did that one have a heel tap? Can't remember. I don't think so. I think the nails would have done it for him. Um, found this under the floor. It's, it's a lead soldered box. This was buried in the ground, squashed. So I don't know what that was all about. The lid is back a bit. But we're going to move on. So go through the trash. Found these in under the hallway of the other house. A uh, mango seed from who knows how long ago and a mussel, so they probably had that for their tucker at some point. And a bit of floor there. I've, I'd kept that because that's original sheeting from the roof. Mm. Just for the heck of it. Uh, got some watch parts, blue chalk. Oh, yeah, okay, blue chalk. And <laughs> blue, uh, Sean got a really nice bottle, magnesia bottle and some other bottles with screws and that's uh, fish paste or whatever Morse's Indian root pills oh come on <laughs> dose oh half to up to four half to four up a day root pills and um got some lead and some other bits and pieces that Sean has rescued that's interesting and a well, you got a button too, Sean got a button. Oh, there it is, I was looking for that. Same, it's the same brand. Yep. And then I got a button the same, this one was under the house, so it's actually got the black paint. It's like very new. Got the police whistle that has been squashed by the earth moving equipment, I'm certain of that. This little arrowhead thing, which we're going to go and javelin someone with in a minute. <laughs> and Sean got, I thought this was pretty cool, the uh, draw front plate. And he got a button. I reckon you should clean that up and you might find that there's something to that, Sean. Mm, definitely. And uh, so Sean I got a really nice small pocket watch cover, which I have to admit has got very good design, hey, Sean? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. So you might have to do some uh, shots for us of that. A little three, three nail toe plate thing. For shoe. Is it oh the earring that you saw before? Two half pennies and a 1914 three pence coin. So there it is right there. And then you got the uh, saddle. Robert Smith saddle of Perth. Did you do a shot of the other side? No. Oh okay. Fortunately I didn't get a shot. So I might have looked at it on the film, so I have to check. Yeah. Um, got uh, orange lid, this beer lid, and that was a better orange lid. And I found the 1942 that you saw me find live, 1921 from the first room, and then just near the step when we were doing that 1950 and 1948, a little swan badge thing. Got to clean that up a bit more. And the person who caned everyone at the hunt was Dave. Before we even got here, he found all of these coins right here. There was a slot, and he reckons the kid must have been mailing them down there. <laughs> and these two were mailed down between the gap in the floor and the door in that back room. So, yep, we had a mailing, the, the mailer kid. Mm. Alright guys, take care, good luck out there. And bye for now. Happy hunting. Happy hunting.